So one year and a half, I decided to pursue this project, swapping a 2J into a BRC FRS. And the journey has been amazing, to say the least. You mainly have a lot of aftermarket parts that help you connect an old engine with a different technology into a newer platform in a form that basically you just buy and install. And it would be fair to say that 90% of this swap has been plug and play, but that 10% that is reminding, that's the one we need to tackle today. Just to give you an example, we need to convert a throttle body that was controlled by wire because it was electronic into a throttle body that will be controlled by cable and that will require some adaptation and i was able to source the oem mark IV supra throttle cable which i assume from a length standpoint is going to be perfect and i bought used uh, i think it was through facebook marketplace or ebay i actually don't remember but i was able to source a mark IV pedal as well so this should go kind of like this and these two can clamp here like this so Okay guys, so two things we need to ensure that we can uh, fabricate or, you know, kind of adjust or make it happen. So the first one is we need to run this accelerator cable and uh, we're going to use that hole. Let me see if I can get it with the camera. There we go. We're going to use this hole that was already, already in the uh, firewall. So we're going to be using this hole to pass the cable through. Let me show you. Basically, it's gonna be kind of like this, and it will go all the way. And then, as you can see, the Supra has uh, two bolts that connect the firewall. So basically, you can attach this thing, or you can bolt this thing, and this will avoid, you know, the cable jiggling and moving around. So what I'm gonna do right now is try to you know accommodate this thing all the way in something like whoops something like that kind of and then see if i can get a drill and drill two holes so we can at least have the cable and the cable secured once we do that then we'll move to the pedal okay so now let's get that thing painted so we actually avoid rest. Okay guys, so we're heading to Tito's. He's a very good friend of mine. He appeared in the channel a couple of times and he helps me every single time that I need to fabricate something. In this case, we're gonna be working on the accelerator. It's not properly fitting, so he will uh, help me massage a bit that thing. Let's see how that goes. And also we'll have to custom build or adapt the stick that connects the transmission shifter with the transmission itself. So let's see how this goes. Moment of truth. Vamos! Yes, yes! There's something that I clearly didn't think about, which is power steering. I'm not gonna be using the power steering. Why? Because the FRS has electric power steering, so no need for hydraulic one. But the issue though is I wanna keep the AC. So out there, you will see there are a lot of uh, potential kits in which basically you put a shorter belt and you remove power steering and you remove the belt and you run something across the water pump alternator, uh, idler pulley and the crank. That's not gonna work here. So we need to remove this, but keep it. 
which is quite challenging, right? Okay, and as fast and as messy as this can uh, actually be, it's how the pump went out. Um, good thing I don't have to put all of this together. So what's the plan now? Game plan is I'm gonna basically close this without all of these metal things. So there's no vacuum that will be working after this. There's only gonna be, you know, the idler moving alone and as uh, idler pulley. No more, no, you know, no more than that. So no more pump, no more vacuum, no more strength, no more resistance, no more forces, no more nothing. So let's go ahead and install the cap, put some oil, and uh, start building all back together. And now it's time for six brand new spark plugs. An interesting thing, these are not erodium, these are platinum from what I understood. And they have kind of like a dual type of tip. So out with the old and before installing the new one, I don't know, I just wanna ask you, what do you guys think? One is Denso, this is the one that was suggested by Manuel. And these are the ones that the car had before. Yeah, quite interesting to see if these plugs are actually better than the ones that I just bought. Nevertheless, we'll continue. We'll put the brand new fresh plugs and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We're gonna be installing the headlights. In this case, we're going with Morimoto. These are very nice headlights and uh, yeah. Let's see how they look once they're installed and uh, if we can turn them on. Okay guys, this engine bay starts to look clean, doesn't it? So, uh, as you can see, fuse box. Uh, nice, no longer we need to hijack that solder relay to have actually ground in one of those pins. The way I solved that is I went through all the wiring harness of the FRS and specifically there's one wire, color code black and light blue. It goes up to this one over here. I think it's A35 or something like that. And the pin is the pin number 26. That one should be the one that provides ground. So basically how I did it is I traced and we were very lucky, took performance wire and harness. They had one wire connected to that pin. So basically I hijacked that wire and I basically created a ground connection that goes into some part around here. I need to mount the cooler for the automatic transmission. Yes, I'm not happy. I should be doing a manual transmission and I will. I promise to myself and I promise to each one of you, I will, but not now. There's a lot of money and uh, I'm very anxious. So I want to have this car started at this point and uh, I don't know, drive it a little bit. So we need to mount this thing. One option is slicing this thing between the front bumper and the intercooler, something around that place, a little bit upper, but yeah. And then mount this into the intercooler. The other option, which I think I'm gonna lean into is what if instead of going this way, we go this way and I slice it in between both things. There we go. But now I plumb it here. So I use the front grill of the bumper as a mounting point. Let me know what you guys think. Eventually, you know, we can remount this thing shouldn't be that big of a deal
There has been a long, long time without this car having a front bumper.